So good morning guys, you join us on another beautifully warm day in England and we're actually spending our first time exploring the UK since we moved to Guernsey. We're exploring Warwick and we're very excited to be here because if you're new to this channel, we just moved back from spending 16 months living and working in the island of Guernsey. So to be back in our homeland is very, very exciting. So we're going to be showing you guys a brief tour around Warwick, but first up, I've got a surprise for Gemma that she knows nothing about. Are you excited? I am, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> but first of all, we're going to go and get some breakfast to start the day off proper. Hi, we are Gemma and Campbell and in 2018 we cut the roots to our static lives and began backpacking all around the world, working wherever and whenever we needed to. In 2020 we found ourselves stranded on the beautiful island of Guernsey where we settled in and weathered the storm of the next year enjoying the welcoming nature of the island. In June 2021 we decided it was time we quit our jobs and began the long journey home to our families in Scotland, travelling north through England and stopping off at the beautiful town of Warwick which leads us nicely right up till now. Since coming back to the UK this is the first time that we have been to our Weatherspoons and we just couldn't resist coming here for breakfast while we're in Warwick. It's so cheap and just a nice Atmosphere. Yeah, please don't judge us like we are unemployed and yeah, we could not say no to the delicious and kind of reliable food that you can get here in Wetherspoon. So what are you thinking? I'm going for the egg and corn vegan sausage muffin with a hash brown. I'll possibly just have the same as that and you also get 99 pence coffees and unlimited refills which will go down very well today because we're going to go out and about a lot. There you go. Oh, nice. So in total I've got two egg and corn vegan sausage muffins and two coffee free refills. Total £7.56 for breakfast. Bargain. So after you get breakfast and everything and you're ready to explore the town, we recommend you stopping out at the tourist information centre where the friendly ladies there usually hand out leaflets or any other kinds of brochures I guess that tell you what there is to actually do in Warwick. So that's where we just paid a visit to there. But now we've got this surprise for Gemma. And she still has no idea what it is, but I think she's really going to like it and it is very exciting. Oh my love. And here it is. Ah! Oh, We're yes. going to be going on a boat. Yes! <laughs> that makes me excited. We've never done anything like this before. What kind of boat are we going on? A rowboat. Yes, we're going to go on a cute little paddle. I don't even think it's open yet, so it's going to be very, very quiet and peaceful. But up and down the river next to uh, St Nicholas Park. We saw people doing it yesterday and it just looked lovely. Oh, it does. So it's a good way to start off the morning. Morning. Should be pretty stable. <laughs> I'm not prepared to go swimming. No, no, not an early morning no, tip. We did do plenty of like early morning sea swims in Guernsey, but not this morning, no. <laughs> not in Warwick. No, no. not prepared. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, my love. You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all He's going around checking up on everything This is a little lifeguard duck This is actually so lovely Like there's so many uh, beautiful like houses And kind of like little garden pods and little gardens All along the river towards the Warwick Castle it was really, really peaceful first thing in the morning. I think we were the first ones on the boat. It's getting a bit busier now. It was a lovely way to start the morning. Yeah, I'm loving it. Best surprise. Best way to start the day. I'm going to crash into that bridge. I'm going to crash into that tree. Oh! oh no! <laughs> Duck! Duck! Thank you so much. Oh. oh, thank you very much. Well, that was brilliant fun. Oh, so all that rowing has made me proper work up a hunger. So That's we're going to go and get somewhere for lunch. We had planned on going to the apparently the oldest pub in Warwick, which is about 500 years old. But we just walked past this coffee shop that said it does the best coffee in the world. So we couldn't not stop in there. I think we're going to go and grab a sandwich and then we'll go and show you the oldest pub after that. Yeah. I've got a triple mint tea. See, Gemma doesn't drink coffee, and um, I think she's part lizard or something. She doesn't like the caffeine, so it's just the coffee for me. And I'm gonna keep say I keep I say I'm gonna keep saying stuff like this until I can peer pressure her into drinking coffee, which you were thinking about today. I know. Well, I like the smell of it. I don't know about drinking it. <laughs> oh, what do you think, guys? Coffee or no coffee? Let us know. Look at that triple mint. Lots of different mints in there. Alright, so let's see what we think about this world's best coffee. 
It's very hot, lots of flavour, and I just got the Americano, which is quite nice, and it's a good size as well, which is a good factor for me when it comes to coffee, the bigger the better. Uh, what about your wrap? I've gone for the vegan meatball wrap. Smells good. Mm. Really good. Uh, I think spinach, chicken and tomato and sauce. And a mozzarella. Very nice. That was so good. Now we're going to go and check out the old pub. But even if you don't want to pay into attractions in Warwick, it's such a beautiful, picturesque little place. Like everywhere you look is just beautiful. Like old and rustic yeah. and you've got the old cottages and it just screams history. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, See, so yeah, it's really pretty. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. So we are in the Roebuck now. We're just enjoying a nice drink and enjoying the atmosphere in here. It's really nice, cozy pub. This pub actually dates back to 1470. And it's one of the many, many old buildings that you can find in Warwick, another one being Warwick Castle. Now Warwick Castle is as old as some countries might be. It's uh, 800 years old, it was built long before the city of Warwick actually exists, which makes Warwick such a fascinating place because of just the sheer amount of history that's there. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Warwick, which unfortunately means, especially given the current climate, there's a lot less bases available for you to actually go and visit it, which means it was fully booked for today and we couldn't get it this short notice. If you are into your castles and stuff, there is another site you can see just outside of Warwick, which is what we've come to do today, and that is of course, Kenilworth Castle. A beautiful ruin just outside of Warwick, about a 15 minute drive. I think to be honest, like looking at it from outside here as well, I kind of prefer these older ruins. They look a lot more Mystical. Old. Yeah. Yeah, old and mystical. And yeah. Warwick Castle, <laughs> I don't want to slander it already, but you know, Castles that have been like kept up and like you know really reinforced and everything like that, they could have been built 20 years ago because they just look so well kept. All over Scotland, you get ones like this, and it just reminds me more of like Game of Thrones kind of uh, fantasy fiction type things, as which is what we're I'm more into. Kenilworth Castle is actually part of one of the English Heritage sites, which means that if you have a membership for the English Heritage, then you can visit for free and you can visit many other historical sites across. England. Yes, yeah, so if you're into these kind of sites, you would save a lot of money by just buying one of those passes and it would do you all year long. So what's happened? Classic Highlands to Hammocks fashion. I'm just really hungry. I know. To be honest. I feel like we're really and We had hoped to get a cream tea because we're thinking there's nothing more English than having a cream tea in a castle. However, we came too late in the day and have sold out. So instead we got a little honeycomb biscuit to stop G Gemma from getting too hungry and attacking someone. And then we're going to have a quick wander around. But it's a lovely atmosphere to just chill out on the picnic benches and have a little cream tea if you get here early enough. Yeah. There's shows going on. There's like, because it's midterm break just now, so there's like kids everywhere and they're doing like these kind of fictional kind of plays, yeah. I guess, where they teach about history and stuff like that. And there's an entire exhibit as well, which we're going to go and have a wander around afterwards. But what a beautiful place. Yeah, it's really nice. To that, I'll let you do it before you bite my fingers off. Mm. Sugar rush, I'm sorted. Yeah. Success. So this is pretty cool, you can actually get in and wander around inside the structure. So this is where they kept all the royal pigeons apparently. There's one up there. Hello, hello your majesty. So up close it's actually a really impressive structure. It's a lot bigger than any other kind of like castles, ruins that we visited. Given us it's like 900 years old, it's really impressive. Gardens are the colours. I love it. I know we've come at like so the nice. perfect time of year. And we've been spending so much time wandering around the rest of the castle. Didn't even realise the best part was actually behind it, They're on the other side. So make sure you shoot round to here first. But look at that. And I think the thing about 
Kenilworth Castle that is so unique is just how much you can actually get in and around and really get a feel for how big the castle would have been. A lot of the areas are closed off just now because of what's going on in the world obviously. It's too narrow passages, people squeezing past each other, but they've taken a lot of precautions to try and prevent any kind of spreads, which mm -hmm. is really reassuring yeah. as well. Yeah, it feels like a really safe environment to be honest. I know, yeah, but once sure. further restrictions are lifted, we'd recommend coming here because you can get in and around the castle and get a really good feel for the history of the place. Oh, I am absolutely famished now. It's been such a busy day, we've been walking everywhere. We have my feet are killing <laughs> I think the only way to round it off now is to go and get some dinner. Good idea. And so we've come back to Leamington Spa. We've come to a place called Basement Browns to try out their vegan options of their pizza. What was it they said? We've got a vegan chorizo pizza and vegan chicken as well. Very excited to try this. It's quite a good system they've got here. You like order it on your phone. And you need to bring it straight to the table. You don't yeah. even need to do anything. Okay, that's one downside to the ordering on our phone. So, so we accidentally ordered to the Coventry uh, basement browns instead of the Leamington Spa one. So make sure you order to the right location. Luckily, no one was sitting at table number four in Coventry. So I'm guessing that's how they knew to come over and tell us that it was going to be made here instead. So the that was very lucky. The funny thing is, is that Campbell was um, laughing at John saying, ah, oh, by the time you get... Um, <laughs> Yours set up, we have finished our pizza. John's now <laughs> halfway through his pizza. We yeah, haven't even arrived yet, I know. Oh, this is John, buddy. Jealous, brother. Thanks Hi. for letting us stay overnight. <laughs> uh, thankfully, it's arrived in one piece. I wasn't sure if they were actually going to send it from the Coventry store, but I think they just baked it here instead. And my god, it looks good. Mm. That is so good. I've not had like a kind of chorizo meat in ages. That is so nice. A bit of spice in it, loads of cheese, good crust. Passes the pizza test for sure. Now, Gemma did say that the sausages on it look a bit like dog treats, but they do taste nice, rest assured. Oh, so, good pizza. Amazing. Amazing. One of the best pizzas I've had in a long time. So that brings us to the end of our day out in Warwick. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as we have filming it. I've had an absolute blast here. It's so much fun just getting out and actually exploring new places again. We're so excited for all the other adventures we're going to be having in future. So if you're enjoying coming along on the new adventures with us, then make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the next video. And we'll see you guys again in the next one. See ya. Everywhere around Windsor is just very, very pretty. Windsor. <laughs> do you want me to do this bit? Yeah. Well, that was so good. Just, what did you say? <laughs> do you want me to do this bit? Oh my god, we've been chased by the Warwick Swan! No, 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 no! We've already got sidetracked. We're waiting for the boat club to open and Gemma spotted a bunch of dogs, so of course we need to go and do some dog spotting before we can do anything else. Don't worry, I've only planned this for weeks. <laughs> I'm back! Wait for me! Yeah. They're all gone. Oh, they're all watching the swans. <laughs> that bush and a million flies came out. Alright, this is what happens when you stop the video for a bit. I've just forgotten how to row again. <laughs> I was in such a good swing of it.